CO2, it's the gas we associate with climate change, but it's also needed for life on Earth to function normally. How our planet manages the levels of CO2 is called the carbon cycle. CO2 is released into the atmosphere, for example, by animals' respiration, forest fires, even agriculture. Plants reabsorb the CO2 through photosynthesis. But in the 1800s, that process started to change radically. It started with fossil fuels, sources of energy trapped deep underground from the fossilized remains of plants and animals. For the fuel to power everything from your car, to the furnace in your home or office building, to the plane you take on your next vacation. We owe the modern world to them. We often describe Earth's atmosphere as a kind of invisible blanket sitting atop um, Earth's surface. Matthew Osman is an assistant professor of climate science at the University of Cambridge. He says Earth's atmosphere naturally contains greenhouse gases that make life on Earth possible. Without CO2, life on Earth actually wouldn't be possible. It's estimated that without carbon dioxide, um, Earth's surface would be somewhere in the ballpark of 30 to 35 degrees Celsius cooler than it is at present. But when more CO2 gets released into the atmosphere through human activity, that's when things become problematic. Burning fossil fuel re-releases all the CO2 that was locked underground all those years ago. That CO2 gets lodged into the atmosphere. CO2 is a relatively simple molecule composed of one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. When heat from the Earth's surface gets beamed back into space, it gets absorbed by the CO2 in the atmosphere. As the CO2 absorbs that energy, its molecules move faster and faster. And as they do, they transmit heat energy around to other molecules, causing them to move faster as well. That cycle repeats itself over and over, trapping heat energy and warming the planet in the process. All because of a naturally occurring molecule that's being emitted into our atmosphere at levels that have risen exponentially since the middle of the 20th century. As we emit more and more CO2, we're going to warm the planet at a faster and faster rate. Fueling extreme weather and making life more expensive and challenging. Kamyar Razavi, Global News.